Good morning, my Leos. Happy Sunday morning. It is early. It's like 8, 8 a.m. or something on this beautiful Sunday morning. Um, I'm doing the bonus reads. I'm pre-recording them and I'll probably set them as a premiere. Um, I just have to go out of town. So yeah, no live live readings. But yeah, I, I want to leave you guys with something today and let's do this. Thank you, Leos. You are a bonus reading for a reason. You guys show up so big for me and the channel and I can't, appre I can't say thank you enough. I really can't. And for all my new viewers, welcome. And if you're feeling the vibe, please feel free to like and subscribe. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have Dreamscape Tarot for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. Let's get going. Nine of Pentacles reverse, Six of Cups reverse. If that does not tell me, fed up. Fed up from the ground up. Nine of Pentacles reverse is completely drained. It could be in a relationship. It could be in a job. Six of Cups reverse tells me and a queen of swords, maybe a Leo's really, like you mean it this time. If, if this is a love relationship, you're just fed up with their behavior. You're you're cutting this out. You're saying, you know what? Karmic be done, I'm over this. Eight of swords reverse, you, maybe you're tired of the games, the, the mental ace. Oh, you got ace of, oh my gosh, you got an ace of swords and an ace of wands right below it. This is the yes card. And what is it about? You want passion. You want to grow somewhere. You, you're tired of dealing with people who put, um, who, who sell you a dream is what that feels like. The Ace of Wands is coming out of a book. And I feel like you're ready for something real, not the surreal over here. Temperance reverse. Let's see what's going on, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. Oh my gosh. Ace, and the Ace of Pentacles reverse was mixed in here was mixed in was mixed in no let me put it here lovers when i pulled it away all right all right leo sun moon rising venus if you are a leo know a leo feel like being a leo a leo <laughs> i'm sorry you know what that reminds me of is you know that term i don't have any f's to give it's early sunday morning it's not terror after dark i'll try to keep it clean but i don't have any f's to give leo found one more f to give it was at the bottom of the deck and ace of pentacles reverses uh no it, it's a no if you if I need to say it again for the people in the back it's a no it's a no we're done that's what that feels like all right sun and rising venus leo if you are a leo no a leo feel like being a leo a leo's I'm glad you're here you could be a leo and this resonates you could be dealing with a leo and it can resonate as the main story and leo could be the cross watcher this reading could be for a leo this reading could be about a leo so you could be a Gemini watching this or a Virgo watching this dealing with the Leo and you could be ma the main story. All right. General energy for the Leos. There it is. There you are. Seven of Wands, Death Reverse. Seven of Wands and Death Reverse. What's influencing the Death Reverse? That's, that's old cycles, not letting something go, feeling stuck to move on from something. What's influencing the Death Reverse? Scorpio energy. What's influencing it? What's influencing the death reverse? What's influencing the death reverse? What's influencing the death reverse? Four of wands right there. And the five of pentacles. I feel like you're, it, it's trying so hard to get somebody to invest in you, to believe in you, to want just you. Five of Pentacles is feeling out in the cold. It's a card of scarcity. It's not having enough. It could be also around your finances, not having enough. Tired of always, like every time you get ahead, you fall like many steps behind. And it's just this really painful stuck cycle. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? It's always, it just feels like not get good enough for a person or a situation or a job. What is the reason for the reading here for the Leos? World reverse and the two of wands reverse. Now, I like this two of wands reverse. It's weird. I wish the, the except for this, twos and tarot talk about making a decision, but this two of wands is saying I'm making that effing decision. I'm making the decision to get myself, myself, like I'm Mr. Krabs over here, myself out of a very, 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 very stuck situation. These cards are stuck. 
if I would flip them, I mean, a five of pentacles is awesome in reverse because that means you're getting your groove back. You're no longer feeling rejected. You're just like, you know what? Screw you. If you don't want me, I don't care. But somebody is still waiting for somebody's approval or acceptance or wanting to be picked and it's not happening. And that's causing a major stuckness. And it could be you're out of this situation, but because this person made you feel like that, it's an inability to move forward. But the truth is, if this card comes out reversed or not, you've, I feel like you're over here in this world and you're uncomfortable. You're, you're, it's, not, it's not a comfortable existence to be in. You know why? Because can you imagine if she would try to fit there? It would be very uncomfortable. So I feel like life is squeezing you, Leo, to make you uncomfortable so you can finally make the change that needs to happen, which you are. Two of Wands reverse means not going back. It's interesting because the, it fell out with the world and she's holding the world and she's holding the world. What I think you're, you're realizing is it's time to move forward. She's, she's bigger than her circumstances. I think you've outgrown your circumstances or those relationships or that job. It's time to move forward. And with that comes confidence. You have to believe in yourself and the confidence that something so much better is out there for you rather than where you are. Okay, what is in the past for the Leos? What is in the past for the Leos? What is in the past for the Leos? The Ten of Swords. I like the Ten of Swords upright because that means somebody has finally, you just had enough. And I do feel, remember I said that with the Five of Pentacles, this could be how people made you feel, but this could be about your money. That's exactly what this card is. You feel like life's coming at you from all angles everything's due. I don't even know how I'm going to pay it. The relationship isn't happening. Um, I'm not being respected. I do feel like it does. Maybe you feel like in the past it's coming for, at, at you at all angles, 10 of swords, but it, it tells me it's a cycle of ongoing, you know, you give someone the bottom for the doubt and maybe they lie or manipulate. It's with the death reverse and the world reverse. It tells me it's, it's just been an ongoing cycle of this. What is on Leo's mind? What is on the Leo's mind here? What is on the Leo's mind here? What is on the Leo's mind? What is on Leo's mind? The two or three of wands reverse. That's funny. We got the two and the three. It's the blues. If you, these cards are very blue. The three of wands, the five of pentacles, the two of wands in the world, all are very blue aspects. But what I feel like is you just had enough. You're tired of being tired, Leo. You're tired of feeling the last one picked. You're tired of having to convince people why they should invest in you or trying to, you know, you're just tired. That's what that feels like. The strength in the page of cups. I think you're going towards an easier existence. I think you've been trying to open a door that really isn't for you. You've been either trying to get a relationship that's not for you, trying to stay in a company or a job that's really not for you anymore. Um, three of Wands reverse on your mind is turning your back on the people that made you feel out in the cold. You know, they made you feel rejected. I have a feeling these people are going to regret it though. Whoever made you feel like that, I feel like they're going to regret it because there you are. All right, what's the near future? What's the near future for the Leos? What's the near future for the Leos? What's the near future for the Leos? What is in the near future for the Leos? King of Swords, baby. Mr. Spreadsheets in the day, Mr. Bedsheets at night. King of Swords, the old, all around, this is the king you go to it could be somebody, honestly, helping you get out of this circumstance. It could be somebody who's investing in you. It could be somebody who's helping you. Like it could be somebody who's going to employ you. Um, King of Swords is a very um, clear-headed, goal-oriented king. Now you could be the King of Wands. With the King of Swords, that means you will definitely be the King of Pentacles. And all of this is leading into an emperor, all four kings. I feel like this and with your King of Wands, there's nothing you can't do. King of Wands is the passion and the momentum. The King of Swords is the, the goals and the, um, I'm just going for it. It's clear sightedness of what you want. Being really clear with yourself after so much lack of clarity going on back here. Aquarius, by the way, how do the Leo see themselves? How do the Leo see themselves? The five of swords, Aquarius again, done. I feel like you're back here, Leo. 
you're back here because the five of pentacles see this flower i feel like and see this flower it's this is the amazing thing if this is a job let's just say this is a job or a family situation you have this flower this person is trying to tell you why this flower let's just say these are your dreams this is who you are this person is trying to make you feel bad for who you are this person's trying always talks you down this person's always makes it makes you feel no matter what you do in life it just isn't good enough because they have this flower this flower is a lot prettier than this flower it's it's a very selfish um self-centered energy but the the thing is you see how she's red I feel like you've been pouring your energy into this person. You've been giving them color. You've been giving them life. And it leads you back here. You forgot who you are and what you wanted. This is a person who just takes and takes and takes. And I feel like this is this is the energy you're done with. This So Five of Swords is, I feel, with this Two of Wands reverse, World reverse, and the Five of Swords upright. I think you're done with this person or kinds of people. You want a better way of life. You want to go towards the sun. You want to go towards happiness. You want to go towards abundance. And with that comes new relationships. Three of Cups, people who make you feel good about you. This does not make you feel good about you. This is a person who makes you feel bad about you, but yet they do what you do. They take your ideas, you know. <sighs> All right. What is the energy coming in? Leos don't see coming. What is the energy coming in? The Leos don't see coming. What is the energy coming in the Leos don't see coming? Six of Swords, I think moving on. Ooh, 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 ooh. And the Seven of Stars, Seven of Cups. This reminds me not, this is better than the Star card because you got seven of them. This, when this card comes out, it says, you know, the energy, It do, don't wait for a special time because on your mind, is a three of wands reverse no longer waiting you're ready to take those opportunities the seven of cups says it doesn't matter where you begin just begin you don't have to have it all figured out like the seven of swords you just have to make small steps towards bigger goals it's it's working smarter not harder energy small the small changes in life make the biggest effect seven of, but seven of cups says leo it's time it's time to get yourself out there. It's time to release whatever this is, the stuck cycle of let, allowing people to keep you stuck for their own benefit. Seven of Cups says, if you've had a business idea, if you've had a dream, it's time to start jumping into it. Because it's not one, you know, like the Seven of Cups is like all these different cups and the guy is like trying to grab one, but he's not sure. She's exactly sure. She knows that it doesn't matter what star she picks. All of these are for her. But she can't just sit there in four swords land and keep thinking about it. She's got to start putting effort towards it, which is why I feel like the fire is within you on your mind saying, you know what, there's no going back. I'm going to take this disappointment and move forward. Maybe some of you are really moving, um, dropping linkers and new linkers, anchors in a new land, focusing on your star, on that first aspect of yourself. King of Cups, though, I love this. Look at this. Feeling confident within yourself. I, I just feel like you guys had a major energy vampire. And some of you, this is a love relationship, but I feel like this could be a boss, coworkers, a family member, somebody who talks you down because they really don't want you to leave them. Plus, I feel like they, they take from you. They take your energy. They take your ideas. That's what that feels like. What are, what are in Leo's emotions? What are in the Leo's emotions? I keep seeing Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune moving the F on. What are in Leo's emotions? What are in Leo's emotions? Four of Wands and the Page of Wands. Looking for a new new place to call home is what I got. I'm taking those. The way that did that. There you are, King of Wands. King of Wands reverse, Three of Pentacles reverse. Hierophant reverse. But it was this. Hangman reverse and the Nine of Wands. Releasing the pain. Again with the flower. See this? How you see yourself? I feel like this person made you feel bad for what you wanted or who you are. to the And I think they did it to keep you stuck, to keep you easy access to that, their energy so they can keep taking from you and taking from you. And it only hurt you. The Nine of Wands is she's all tallied up here. She's scarred up, but she never, I mean, she never forgot her dreams or who she really is. I really see you're taking this and calling, you're ready to call someplace, a new place a home. 
because fours in tarot talk about your structure, what you call home. The four of wands, I feel like page of wands, four of wands, some of you are literally looking for a new home. The hangman reverse, the, this is what fell out. She makes the number four even with her legs. You're ready to release yourself from an old tree branch, an old maybe family tree, and ready to start something new over here. Could be moving towards new love, but it's definitely moving towards you, where you really need to be. What is the outcome here for the Leos? I love that four of wands and the page of wands. What is the outcome here for the Leos? 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 Right? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think we got the eight of wands. I, that makes a lot of sense. I moving forward no matter what. I think it's the eight of wands. You got the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups, the wheel of fortune, the king of cups, the nine of cups, the justice, king of wands, ace of cups. Did I already say that? The eight of cups, judgment. That's why it's all happening. It's because of the judgment. Once you see something, you can't unsee it. Once you're awakened to something, you, you just can't go back. You can't go back being the giver. See, this King of Wands reverse was you, Leo. This is why this person looked as good as they did. This is a person who appears one way in the outside, but underneath they're, they're a mess. They're, they, they're, they're critical, they're manipulative, but they don't mind taking, even though they make you feel bad, for whatever it is you do, they don't mind taking it to make themselves look better. I think you're just you're just done with that kind of energy. Eight of Wands is moving forward, Sagittarian energy. Ah, oh, it's a strong ending. It's an. It, did I just put that Five of Swords back? I did. Nice try. Nice try. She's just. I think somebody's gonna going to be. Um, I really think somebody's going to regret how they treated you. And I get this might be a blood relative. It could be a love relationship, but some of you are leaving home maybe towards new love. If you're not leaving home, you're leaving whatever you called this as home before, even if it, it's down the street. You, you could be like, you know what? It doesn't matter how close we live. We're miles or thousands of miles away from each other because it's just like they're not welcome anymore, whoever treated you like this. I think they're really going to regret it because now that you can put the energy into you, it's like they have a hard time admitting that how much you mean to them. It's like they have a hard time admitting how proud they are of you. It's like it, it, for some reason they're blocked from entering those kind of emotions because it, it, it might make them look bad. That's, it's a very deep layer of insecurity I think they operate from. Okay, death reverse influenced by the five of pentacles. Death reverse influenced by the five of pentacles. What is the death reverse influenced by the five of pentacles here? Death reverse influenced by the five of pentacles and the page of pentacles reverse. You can't go back to this. When I see this card, you want to be electrified, not electrocuted. I think you're done and over, honestly, with this situation. It's ironic that we have the death reverse, which would be electrocuted. You want to be electrified, which is the page of wands. So Page of Pentacles reverse is, I feel like this person just wouldn't give you the very basics for you. If this is, let's say this is your parent, they, it's, it's that unconditional love and support. If you, if they would have nurtured you the way that you should be nurtured, you would have really took them all along for the ride. That's why I feel like this person's really going to regret the way they treated you. Ten of Swords, I feel like you are dealing with something very, very critical. The Five of Swords, very critical. I feel like no matter what you do, it, it's just never going to be good enough for them. But inside, they're proud of you. That's the thing. That's what I'm getting. So Eight of Cups, you have no choice but to leave this behind. Ace of Wands reverse in the world. You can't afford to not. With the Ace of Wands reverse, I feel like you can't put this off any longer. Um, the energy is here to really expand your horizons, expand your dreams, expand your cups and happiness. Very Empress energy where you're heading into. What is the world reverse and the two of wands reverse? Reason for the reading. The world reverse and the two of wands reverse. The reason for the reading for the Leos. The world reverse and the two of wands reverse. 
What is this? The world reverse and the two of wands reverse. Aries. King of swords reverse. King of swords reverse is could be a very, that is the, that is such a narcissistic card. It really is. Or it's somebody with major narcissistic, narcissistic tendencies. Um, and I don't want to just slap on a little meaning to the king of swords reverse, but that's the first thing that came to mind because we have a five of swords. We have this Aquarian energy and I feel like somebody um, is stuck in their ways. And because they're stuck in their ways, you've been stuck in your their ways with them because you've been trying to get their approval. You've been trying to win their support. This is why I feel like there's a blood relation here, like a parent. You've been trying to get them to love you unconditionally. It's not your problem, Leo, that they can't. It's something's wrong with them. It's not you, it's them. And this is the clarity that you're starting to come into with the King of Swords in the near future is you saying, you know what, just because some, you got broken a long time ago, you can't break me. I'm going to piece by piece, put myself back together again. And I, I'm, I might have to really turn my back on you. I don't want to, but I'm probably going to have to because I'm put, I can't do this anymore. I, I don't want to be criticized like this anymore. I don't want to be judged by, by in a jury from your perspective. It feels like a very, very critical energy. And a king of swords reverse, I feel like you've, no matter what you've done, you tried to make them happy. And it's a person who can't, who just, they are who they are. They're not changing. And I think you're starting to see that this person's never going to change. So you're the one who has to change them out. You have to change the people out around you rather than trying to change yourself for them. What is the 10 of swords here in the past? 10 of swords in the past. Gemini energy. What's the 10 of swords in the past for the Leos? and the King of Pentacles reverse. I'm telling you, I'm getting both. I'm getting somebody wouldn't give you the benefit of the doubt. What you give to people, it's not coming back to you. If this is a boss, it's such a cheapskate energy. If this is a lover or a husband or a wife, it's a cheapskate energy. They're all about appearances, how they look on the outside. How do I look? Do I, am I attractive enough? Am I thin enough? Am I fit enough? Do I look like I have money? But the inside, they're hollow. That's what I get. Um, King, that's what King of Pentacles reversed. They're all about appearances, but not substance. And I honestly, what I'm really getting though, the Ten of Swords and the King of Pentacles reverse is the stress has kept you from your own abundance, has kept you from doing what you need to do. And I just feel like you're tired of this. You're tired of the cycle and that's why it's ending. What's the Three of Wands reverse on your mind? Aries energy once again, Emperor, very Emperor-like taking that control, not waiting for the opportunity, making one up here. What's this three of wands reverse? Turning your back on Leo's mind. Yep, six of wands reverse. Your energy, realizing that you're the one who's suffering. You're the one who's getting taken from. You're the one who's getting your dreams put on hold or your, whatever your needs aren't being met, you just don't wanna keep doing that. What is the king of swords in the near future? King of Swords in the near future, Aquarian energy. What is the King of Swords in the near future? It's it's funny because these two cards, they usually are very related to each other in this spread. So the King of Swords and the Seven of Cups is all about the star, right? That's Aquarian energy is the star. But the Seven of Cups, of course, is Scorpio, which is right here. So it tells me that you haven't been investing in your own wish fulfillment, in your own dreams, into your own self, because you've had somebody or people around you who needed it more. They needed the spotlight, right? And so you've been putting yourself on the back burner for other people for way too long. But this is getting clear on the star. And that gives you the emotional balance you really need, which is that King of Cups I was saying Okay, what's this King of Swords in the near future? Getting clear on what needs to be done, making a plan. Ace of Swords reverse came out with an Ace of Pentacles reverse, which is a double no to me. It's a, it's it's not just a no, it's like an F no going on. I actually feel like you're over here in King of Swords. I think you're walking away. What I'm kind of getting is somebody's going to try to keep you to stay by guilt. Ten of Wands reverse and Two of Swords reverse, but you're not having it. You're not having it. You're not, you're just, this is where I think you really stand up for yourself. This is when you say, you know what? You can't treat me like this. I've been good to you and you've been nothing but awful to me. And I, I'm, I, I'm not going to be treated like this any longer. What's the five of swords, how you see yourself? Aquarian energy, what's the five of swords doing here? How Leo see themselves? 
Five of Swords. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's, you got actually two. Oh, and that one just fell. Um, actually, you got three. Two of Wands making a decision. Look at that. OMG. Yes, turning your back to go towards your star. You, nothing's keeping you from your happiness, from your goals, from who you need to be, who you were always meant to be. Nobody's keeping you back. Nobody's talking you out of it. Nobody's trying to make you feel, not trying, they're trying, but nobody's going to make you feel guilty because nobody can make you feel a certain way if you don't let them. You're just not letting them anymore. That's what this is about. And let's see what fell. I have no idea because it's, oops, it is face down. It is the four of swords reverse. Now, was it upright before it fell or up a reverse? I really don't know. It fell like this and I pulled it like this. Four swords reverse can be a card of anxiety, but I feel like it's more importantly, you're no longer sleeping on your life. You're no longer holding yourself back. So the four swords reverse kind of does fit with this. Four swords reverse is now getting into the fire aspect of life. This has been watching your life go by, you know, trying to make everybody happy, trying to be the peace. You may not have liked conflict. And, but the problem is, is it came at the expense of your happiness. By being the peacemaker or not wanting conflict, usually somebody else ended up winning. Somebody else always, like you had to make somebody else happy for the sake of peace. I, I just don't, I, I don't think you care anymore. Okay, what is the seven of cups? Energy coming in, Leos don't see coming. Our options, happiness, choices, and opportunity. I feel like some of you, this is an opportunity maybe to go to school far away and your parents may not like it. This might be an opportunity to take a job far away. This might be an opportunity uh, to go towards love. Whatever it is, I actually feel like you might be moving for some of you. What is the seven of cups coming in? Options, seven of cups coming in wish fulfillment all over it because it's seven of stars seven of cups coming in what is that scorpio energy maybe scorpio season and the nine of pentacles reverse to leave this way of life this is the tired to be in tired card drain financially i have nothing keeping me here you have nothing keeping you here so you have nothing left to lose out there king of cups reverse and the nine of swords and the death card and the Wheel of Fortune, I love this. So I feel like where you are now is this. King of Cups Reverse is maybe trying to make somebody happy that can't be happy. King of Cups Reverse can be you emotionally drained from a situation, wanting to pull your cup back because it's a Nine of Swords. It's very stressful. You got a Nine and Ten of Swords going on here. So what is a Leo going to do? I do feel like you have an option. You have something coming in that's going to have you now Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. Reinventing yourself. The death and the wheel, two, two big majors actually, but it's about reinventing yourself. It's about seeing yourself how you are meant to be seen, even if the person who created you didn't see you like that, or the person related to you didn't see you like that. It doesn't mean you aren't like that. Who you see yourself, Leo, or who you imagine yourself to be is who you really are, not who they say you are. And that's where you're ready to, oh yeah, Six of Swords move that you're moving on okay what is this four of wands and page of wands in leo's emotions i really feel like this i'm reading for leo that's ready to make a major move here page of wands and the four of wands and leo's emotions calling a new place home page of wands and the four of wands and the eight of swords reverse and the eight of cups upright perfect cards to be reversed and upright Eight of Swords reverses, you're really, they can't guilt trip you anymore. You're releasing yourself from the prison they wanted to keep you in. But you realize you're the only one keeping you in there and you're the one paying the price for it. Eight of Cups is leaving something that you once were emotionally, um, you know, you're emotionally tied to. I feel like you're just going towards, and I love that she's not going towards the moon. Traditional Eight of Cups, they're going towards the moon. It's sun. You're going towards the sun. And you know what? Look how she's holding the time, like the uh, hourglass, and both sides are full, which tells me this is right on time. You're not losing, you didn't lose out on an opportunity. You have an opportunity coming around that maybe you passed up in the past. Maybe you passed up being an artist in the past. Maybe you passed up being your dream job or your dream self. It tells me that you didn't, Another opportunity, maybe, possibly, probably even better is coming along because now you know the stakes. You know the stakes of letting it go by and not taking it. 
versus allowing this new change to come in and in where it's going to go. That's funny. The moon reverse looking at me in the justice. I, th even the eight of cups, there's no moon on it. All you have is the sun energy going on here. You have nothing left to lose but to move forward, but to embrace the, whatever this is coming in, this opportunity. And it really feels around your career or happiness. It could be relationship for some of you, but I really feel it has to do with taking a chance career-wise. That's really going to have a big payoff, which I feel somebody's going to have major regrets the way they treated you pretty soon here. Eight of Wands on your mind is moving on, moving forward. What's the Eight of Wands on Leo's, not on that mind, outcome? Eight of Wands on Leo's outcome. Moving forward, Sagittarian energy. I feel Scorpio and Sagittarius, maybe Scorpio season is about getting really clear. Maybe the showdown is going to happen in Scorpio. Sagittarius is when the opportunities hitting and you're going to be like, I have nothing left to lose. What's this? Uh, eight of wands in the, lots of eights. And you know, in Chinese philosophy and Chinese, eights are very, 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 very lucky, especially 888. And you have 888 out here. Okay, what is eight of wands outcome? Two of Pentacles, finally feeling on top of the world again. The Two of Pentacles is becoming, fastly becoming, quickly becoming my favorite card because it really has, I would say you could probably find all 21 of the major arcanas tapped into this card, namely the Wheel of Fortune and the Fool card and Justice, talking about balance. But Two of Pentacles is about being open to new opportunities, the Fool card. It's about moving forward um, and being open, uh, which would be the Wheel of Fortune card. The Two of Pentacles is balance, which would be the Justice card. There's a lot of balance and happiness moving on, but I feel like because it's there's a lack of control and there, it's almost feeling effortless. So some of you, this opportunity is going to come in and it's going to fit like a glove. If it's a relationship or a job, it's going to fit like you've been there for a thousand years. And you're like, you're going to really wonder, why did I stay so long back here? Why did I feel like I couldn't do this or couldn't move on? Well, because you were manipulated. Seven of swords at the bottom and a seven of cups. You're going to the eights in life and leaving the sevens behind. I say that and you have the world upright. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, so I do feel like you have an opportunity coming in, Leo. And maybe this opportunity creates you really standing up for yourself because we do have the king of swords. And I feel like this is where you put some serious boundaries because there's something coming in you're going to really, really, really want. And somebody's going to try to talk you out of it like they always do or make you feel bad. And you're going to be like, listen, no way. You know, that's the nice way of saying it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to, I just think you're going towards it. Nothing's stopping you now, Starship. If you're old enough to know that, nothing's going to stop us now. Every, yeah, I feel like Starship over here. Nothing's stopping you now. You're going towards your wish fulfillment, come hell or high water. All right, my Leos, have a fantastic rest of your weekend and Sunday, and I'll see you cutie pies tomorrow morning. It's fire sign day. All right, thank you again, guys. Have a great day.